Hi guys, as you know, I'm into 3D printing if you've watched any of my other videos, and I think uh, even though I don't need them yet, I want to try an upgraded hot end for my 3D printers for my Bamboo Lab X1Cs. And uh, anyways, I picked these Flowtech hot ends up from uh, 3D Printing Canada. Uh, seen them popping up in my news feeds, seen them popping up in my Google searches everywhere. I said, all right, I gotta check these guys out. Uh, Canadian company. I'll uh, share a link below on how to find these yourself, but first off I'm gonna have a look at these and install them, see what's in the box. Um, as you can see it's just a little box, you know, it's got some information on the back. It's all good. Um, I'll tell you more about them as I go, but first thing I want to do is open one up. So I'm gonna go ahead, I already sliced this for the sake of video, and uh, it comes with little instructions, some um, important tips for the successful printing, cups for a couple screws for your uh, fan installation, and the hot end itself. And the reason why I was so excited about these hot ends, the Flowtech uh, Micro Swiss, is because instead of having to change this every time, if you need a hot end, you pull this off, it's the sock. <laughs> And uh, this is changeable. It even comes with a little tool with it. So you could like take this out. This is a, actually a 3D printed tool and you just literally put it on here and you can screw the end out. And then instead of changing your whole nozzle, you can just change this little tip. And uh, there's lots of uh, advantages to that, especially if you're not kind of really good at uh, mechanical stuff and you just want to go ahead and print and you don't really know much about it, like I said, you could go ahead and uh, just, uh, you know, change the tip. So I'll tell you a little bit about what's in the box. It's, uh, there's a whole lot of information about these things, but in the box comes with your uh, Flowtech uh, heater core. It comes with the heat sink. It comes with the 0.4 nozzle from the, uh, from the factory. There's a whole, gang of options you can check out on 3D Printing Canada. It comes with the titanium hot end mounting screws, it comes with the silicone sock, the two screws for the fan like I showed you, and the tool that I showed you for changing the tip. So I'm going to go ahead and install these things, then I'm going to do a video on how they perform on different filaments as you can see here in the back. And uh, we'll kind of go from there, but I'm excited to do an install on these. So. Uh, I'm gonna start with doing that. I'm gonna try to do this and work around my camera. The instruction sheet that comes with this is actually pretty detailed and it's actually in English, which is nice because a lot of times you get instructions and uh, this one has pictures and everything step by step exactly how to change your hot end. I already know how to do it. So the first step they say is to turn it off and I'm about to do that. But the first step I actually take when I do it is I home it so that I can lower the bed and then I can work freely in here instead of being caught up working around the bed like it. I don't know why they wouldn't tell you that, but that's okay. That's what we're going to do. So the next step I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, turn it off because I haven't turned it off yet. So turn it off. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the hot end. So now that it's off, you just go ahead and you pop the lid off. Now I set mine up here and when I'm working that's kind of what it tells you in the manual. Then you go ahead and you take these two screws out. Now. now this part I feel is very important, especially if you haven't changed one before. You gotta be real careful with these wires. I mean, they're meant to be played with a little bit, but uh, I'd be careful with them. I'm gonna change the view so you can see what I'm unplugging here. So now you just gotta go ahead and unplug these three. That's what I do each time I do it. That way I'm not breaking nothing. I take my time and I unplug those. Just take these two screws out right here on the fan. Set them aside. I'll speed that up for you a little. It's running. I'm gonna upgrade it because I wanna upgrade it. Not because it needs to be upgraded right now but it's always nice to have something upgraded. So this one here, all you gotta do is make sure your wires are in this little crease properly right there. Go ahead and set the fan on, but first I'm gonna open up this bag and get the new screws. I should have had them out and ready, but they give you a nice new 
screws with it, so why wouldn't I use them? So I'll go ahead and set that on there. Boom, perfect fit. Something I was concerned about. Everything seems to be great so far. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start that one. It's not like the RCs where you gotta crank her down and put Loctite. These seem to hold in place pretty good. I mean, if you were uncomfortable, you could put a dab of blue, but where it shakes around a lot, but I found you don't really need it. And that's just my experience on this one. So that's ready to be reinstalled now. So, I'm going to tighten that back up after showing you guys it loosened. It's something I'd verify anyway, even right out of the package. Just make sure that's tight with your tool they give you. Why not? Right? It's right there. Take you two seconds. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and install that back in. It's ready. So, again, guys, be very careful plugging this stuff back in. Like I said, these wires are small. You don't want to break them. You got a new hot end. You don't want to buy another part if you don't have to. So, I'm going to go ahead and install this back in. I talked about Loctite earlier. You can see these have a little dab on them right from the factory. Just a little piece on them. Alright, so that's all installed. All you gotta do now is set your magnetic cover back on. No big deal. Like say, put that on. I got one more to install. they're both installed um, I will say what I do is put the two smaller wires in first use the clear one to hold them back because they like to spring out um, every time I do it I try to do that but sometimes I forget and then I end up fiddling with them for a few minutes in the box with the uh, Flotec micro Swiss hot end for the bamboo x1c there are some instructions that tell you you know for closed chamber printing you can see this in the box it'll tell you different instructions for the 0.2 millimeter i'm not going to get into that because i'm going to use these exactly like i did my bamboo point for us and then i'm going to check the performance now i'm going to go ahead and do a full calibration on these and uh, i do that after i do anything to my printers um so that will be my first step then after that i'm going to get into uh running some of the 3d print canada filament um, stay tuned, watch my other videos guys, thanks for watching, I'll share in a, a link down below where you can uh, purchase these hot ends for yourself on their website, and uh, yeah, watch and see for an update on the performance of these things. Again, thanks for watching guys, check out my next videos and my other videos, and check out my shorts, thanks.